Hello everyone, welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the collective for the weekend of January 10th through January 12th, 2019. But not even that, because I really kind of feel like what we're going to be talking about today is this full moon slash partial lunar eclipse in cancer that's happening today january 10th at least it's happening today it's happening the 10th of january here in the northern hemisphere well in the united states um, i'm on the east coast of the united states i don't know exactly when it's happening maybe on the southern hemisphere or maybe like in the uk or in europe and all that but um that's what's happening for us right now and even before I got to actually sitting down and starting to channel for the collective, I felt like we needed to have a reading. Spirit was saying, we're going to have a reading uh, uh, talking about this eclipse. Now, the eclipse is happening on the 10th, at least for us right now, at least for me. The eclipse is happening today. And so our weekend edition is going to be focused on that. But these eclipse energies... I mean, they, they, they last for like about six months, at least the lunar eclipse, you know, we'll be feeling the effects or whatever this lunar eclipse is, I guess you could say catalyzing for us. Um, it, it can take place over the next six months. It's not necessarily just going to happen right like that. You know what I mean? Where a solar eclipse is different. Um, and I, I say um, uh, catalyzed or activated loosely because i kind of feel like there were some things that were activated back in december on the solar eclipse on the 25th christmas day 25th 26th of december um and then with this lunar eclipse this is kind of like with the integration process of whatever was actually activated during the solar eclipse now that was some information that i channeled from the, that i received that i heard from uh, Aluna Ash, she channeled that. I, I watch her regularly. I really love her content. You guys hear me talk about her all the time. Um, so that's kind of how, and that, that's kind of how I feel like this, what I feel like is happening here. There was some sort of activation back during Christmas. Something was catalyzed. Someone was, some, <laughs> someone was catalyzed. Okay. Something was brought to the surface and, um, now we go we're going to go through i guess we went through a little bit of an integration process between the 25th 26th of december and now the 10th of january but as we go through this lunar eclipse that's when i really feel like things are going to really start to set in okay um but keep in mind that this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't yeah and yes this is dated for the weekend but like i said this is this is a this the, the scope of this reading especially if it really is keeping to speaking about the full moon partial lunar eclipse which i feel like it's going to well okay i intend for it to be like spirit is saying we want to do this we want let's do this reading this type of reading today so instead of me just like throwing my hands up be like okay spirit you drag take the wheel okay i uh, the intention is set we are doing a reading on this this eclipse energy and this this spans far past this weekend this spans you know throughout the time that this that we're feeling this lunar eclipse energy so if at any point a few months down the road or maybe even a few weeks down the road you feel like you want to come back and watch this again to see how it resonates i highly recommend you do so okay so you might want to like bookmark this reading or like save it to like a watch later playlist on youtube or um i don't know save it somewhere where you can find it easily yeah okay so with all that said, let's get into the pre-shuffle energies that I have here. We have the Five of Wands with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, these are the two cards that came out. But then overall energy, we do have the Seven of Swords, but also with the Six of Wands. Now, the first thing that I want to I want to make very clear here is, and this was a, this was a message that came through um, as I was channeling this, and I heard this very clearly. Your benefits your successes your greatest payout is going to come from you facing something head on with this seven of swords energy this seven of swords has been coming out a lot for the collective recently um and it's been it hasn't really been giving me that that bad of 
a vibe it no matter how you how you spin it the seven of swords is always going to represent some side, some sort of deception some sort of secret keeping some sort of lies try someone trying to kind of get away with something it just depends on the degree of the deception involved here okay sometimes deception or keeping secrets or keeping something to yourself is a good thing okay but but also there's a twinge with this seven of swords now let me remind you it's not that bad but there's a twinge with this seven of swords of someone trying to sneak away from something or maybe trying to get away with removing themselves from a situation without really truly addressing it like maybe trying to like almost like a smoke and mirrors type thing where now all of a sudden boop, someone's gone and you're like well what the hell where did they go now i do feel like you trying to remove or whomever trying to remove yourself from a certain situation or a certain circumstance or a certain way of being that just came through um, a certain way of identifying with yourself or whatnot whatever that is a good thing and that is definitely in line with what's going on with these energies of this uh, the solar eclipse back in december and now this lunar eclipse okay however like the message said and like i said before your greatest reward six of wands your greatest reward comes from you facing the situation head on okay the, i'm not gonna lie even though this seven of swords energy doesn't really feel that bad okay spirit just i mean yeah my higher or i just said to myself it kind of feels par for the course okay that's fine but oh shit <laughs> i lost my train of thought um i mean it, okay but there's a lack of integrity i mean there's a there's a little bit of a lack of integrity here with this seven of swords energy now I'm the type of person like my my path my life path number is a nine. Okay, I'm very I'm, I'm very much spiritually oriented. I always have, and a big thing for me throughout my life, really. But now I really started to understand this lesson, and now I'm really settling into it. Is the a big thing for me is integrity. Like I can't I can't tango with people or energies or situations or circumstances that are less than integrous okay and if i have to lower my own standards or if i have to step off my we'll call it pedestal of integrity in order to interact with something in order to have a job in order to work for someone in order to be with someone in order to be friends with someone in order to do in order to do something i just can't do it i can't do it and that's and and, and i'm not trying to I'm not trying to say I'm better than anyone because I'm not, but this is just a life lesson for me. I mean, this is, this has been an overall theme for me throughout my life and I never really realized it until now. So I come forward and I say to you, a lack of integrity is not a good look. Now, if it's a circumstance in which, because we do have the five of wands here, all right, so we do have some opposition. This could be external opposition or this could be internal conflict or opposition. But unless you're in a situation which things might get a little dangerous, things might get a little volatile, like you need to be as discreet as possible in moving away from this situation, okay, that's fine. But if you're just trying to get away with something because you don't want to have to address a certain element or you don't have to want to say something, a certain thing or something like that, like if you're just trying to uh-huh, okay, the phrase here is if you're trying to shirk your responsibilities, no, that's not, that's not so good. <laughs> okay, that's not so good. Ultimately, you're going to be successful with this Six of Wands energy. But look at this. Do you see how battered and bruised? And like, these guys are bloody, man. The sky is kind of gray. I mean, it looks like it was a pretty... It was, it was a pretty rough battle, right? Well, all right. So, but they're still victorious. Don't get me wrong. They're still victorious. Okay, that's great, but... Would you rather be victorious with a sense of integrity intact, or would you rather be victorious while feeling kind of like a little, a little snaky, a little slimy? Like you, you got to take like three showers just because the way that happened was not, the way you went about that, or the way that went down was ugh, less than less than on the up and up. You know what I mean? Like 
and please don't get me wrong please uh, please understand that i am not passing judgment on anybody y'all make the calls that are best for you this is just the message that's coming through here but ultimately you do have this page of pentacles someone is very very set whether well, the feeling that i'm getting from this page of pentacles here someone is very set on a brand new reality starting over starting for fresh starting a new life for themselves maybe in a way um this is you starting your new life in a new way of identifying potentially okay also what i'm getting with this page of pentacles energy is maybe you don't really know how to go about this in a in a in a, in a way that is of, of the highest integrity i am getting a little bit of a lack of maturity here but again please understand that i'm not trying to pass judgment everybody is on different paths or on different levels in their path where you are in this current moment is exactly where you need to be so if you are kind of resonating with that energy of i don't really know how to do this in the most integrate integrous way so i'm just going to do this the way i the way i know what what comes naturally to me what's comfortable for me that's okay no one is passing judgment on you here okay like i said either way there is going to be some sort of victory okay but you know keep that in mind bounce that around in your head a little bit see if maybe there is a better way that you can go about it <laughs> there's that six of wands again okay guys all right <clears throat> so with all that said i'm going to give this one more shuffle and then we're going to go a little bit deeper into what this full moon partial lunar eclipse in cancer represents for us or is bringing forward for us collectively all right here we go hi spirit please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for this partial lunar eclipse full moon in Cancer here on the 10th of January 2020. Please give us a clear and accurate representation of what we can expect, what is integrating, what's coming forward, what's coming up in the span of this full moon partial lunar eclipse energy. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles. Now, what I want to say, there is a message that's coming through here. Integrity does not equal righteousness. So in the terms of us speaking to you guys about remaining in your, in your highest integrity that you can muster, this does not mean that we're influencing or, or, or encouraging you to become overly righteous maybe even self-righteous. Just because you have you have you of our high integrity still doesn't mean that you're better than anyone. Doesn't mean that anyone else is less than you. We are still equal. However, if something does not feel morally sound to you, if you feel like you're stooping down to a lower vibrational level in order just to 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 get something done, Use your levels, your, 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 your abilities, your discerning abilities to figure out what is the best way possible for you, okay? That was a message that really wanted to come through there. All right, here we go. Five shuffles. One. For this full moon partial lunar eclipse in Cancer. Two. Three. and last shuffle five all right kids let's see what we've got Okay, we have one card so far and it's the Hermit. All right, cool. 
We're going to see what else we get here. Full moon. Yes. Partial lunar eclipse in Cancer. Okay. One more shuffle. Okay, cool. Whoa. All right, overall energy we have the Emperor with the Six of Swords. Okay. We also have the Hierophant, which is seems to be in reverse here. They both are. All right, we have the Hierophant in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse. We have the Five of Wands again, but this time it's this side. It's this time it's the side of the um of, a, of, a, of an eruption okay we also have the tower there you go there's that eruption and then we have the eight of pentacles and the nine of cups very interesting okay so we have a situation here in which someone is actively taking their power back there you go and moving on Ooh, okay oh shit you've got to be kidding I went to go pick up the deck because I wanted to show you guys the Six of Swords that's on the other side of the deck, and I picked it up, and the Six of Swords was still on the on the table, and the Seven of Swords is still coming forward. In some cases, this is a, this this truly is a lack of integrity. Okay, I mean, take that with a grain of salt, because we do have this five of wands here again but the five of wands has come out with it's the it's the eruptive side like when things were just like maybe just a little bit of an ego battle here maybe a minor argument here or there now it's become explosive so there really could maybe it's so so maybe you're not the one if you're if you are this emperor energy here okay sure we could be talking about a divine counterpart we could be talking about the divine masculine we also really truly could be talking about the masculine energy within you because there is some sort of action that is take being taken here to move in a new direction throughout this this lunar period right this eclipse period which like i said can last for about we could be feeling these energies or this all of this could be playing out over like the next six months okay so th this could be a process but someone is looking to take some sort of action to move in a different direction between the six of swords that we have here okay um at the tower energy the king of swords the 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 the, uh, the um you know the emperor someone this is masculine energy except for the six of swords but the, the the king of swords the emperor these are masculine energies this is action okay so something could get really explosive or maybe you are in this energy where this is just erupting out of you and you have got to do something about it it's like five of wands and the king of swords right but the king of swords is looking is uh, is in this energy here of looking off into the distance he's got that he's got that lightning striking ahead of him he's got that scythe down there at his feet um the scythe to me really kind of represents death or some sort of reaping or some sort of reckoning right you have this five of wands this eruptive energy it's like i this now that I really look at it, this could be something erupting within you. It's like something that maybe you've been trying to stamp down, that you've been trying to hide from, that you've been trying to avoid. There's no avoiding it anymore. Literally, regardless of what this is, whether it's an internal situation or there's some sort of external situation about to pop off, there is no ignoring this. There is no denying this. And I mean, y'all, y'all can try all you want to ignore a motherfucking volcano but that shit is going to erupt and if you don't do something about it you will be swept up in the lava and the ashes period <laughs> like you can't there are many things that you probably can try and avoid with that seven of swords energy that just keeps coming out but you cannot avoid an erupting volcano there is no other way to say that you cannot avoid an erupting volcano, okay? And thus, you have the tower. 
The tower has been coming out recently quite a bit, but there is some, look, look, you've got that all seeing eye too. This isn't even the time, the side of the tower where you know you have this lightning being struck and the mask is being broken and the chariot of, you know, the, 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 the chariot that has been driving you in a certain direction is being destroyed. No, this is the side of the tower where truth is coming to light. People are being ejected from their positions. Um, wow. Oh, wow. Actually, it's really interesting. When I said that, um, I was reminded, uh, I, so, so I have a new friend. His name is Julian, and I think he's freaking fantastic. He is a Vedic astrologer. I found him on Instagram. His name is Julian Skywalker on Instagram. If you're interested in getting some, like, uh, sorry guys, there's so much glare. I don't want there to be so much glare on the cards like that. Um, if you're interested in getting a Vedic astrology reading, I highly recommend that you look him up. Um, this glare is going to bother me, but oh well, we're just going to have to deal with it. Um, I highly recommend that you look him up. He's fantastic, you guys. But we were talking, I got a reading from him yesterday, and I'm going to be getting more from him just because there's so much that we have to talk about. But he was saying how this, you know, this, this, this moon, man, this moon cycle, this, this lunar eclipse, this is going to be some serious shit. Like some, some things are about to pop off, um, for the collective. One of the things being, um, the last time, I think he said that the last time this happened is when the Illuminati, um, put our current banking system, banking system into place. Yikes. And so when this came out here and I heard and I heard myself say certain people are going to be ejected from their positions this really could be uh, and I'm not trying to be a fortune teller in terms of the collective like this like I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get all political either, either but this could be a situation in which we start to see certain people in prominent positions start to like be exposed for who they are <laughs> right and get ejected from their positions Okay. We also have the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups here. So, the hard work that you've been doing on yourself, um, I mean, I, your mission work even, is about to pay off for you in this period. Over, uh, uh, you know, over this span of like this next six months is what Spirit just said. Like, you're really about to get some serious payoff if you've been doing this work. Eight of Pentacles, okay? That's a really good thing. Now, let's go to this. We have the Hermit with the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse. The Hermit could represent Virgo energy. Okay, that's fine. And it's funny because when this card came out, my eyes were, like I was shuffling and I was, my eyes were closed. And when this card came out, I was, I started thinking randomly about this individual who happens to be my twin who is also a virgo and i was like i'm why am i thinking about him i'm trying to i'm trying to like you know channel for the collective but that's when i looked and i looked and it was the freaking hermit like oh my god are you kidding me <laughs> okay fine whatever that's fine but um queen of wands in reverse and the hierophant in reverse to be honest this hierophant energy is giving me some sort of energies of commitment um, maybe even marriage. Um, and so I, what I feel like this is saying here is there is there is an energy of like wanting to connect with someone, maybe maybe your divine feminine, huh. um, but needing to needing to do more soul searching, needing to find more truth within. Now, also, I'm getting an energy of a vision quest. Like, I'm for some reason, I'm hearing vision quest with this. But there, this also could be someone here going on a path of connecting with their inner divine feminine energies. Okay, um, maybe even rejecting some sort of indoctrination here. The hierophant. I feel like there's some sort of reconciling, reconciliation, there's there's a reckoning even that needs to happen within in order for you to really stand in this in, uh, integrous place with this Queen of Wands energy because this it's really the feminine that really demands integrity, demands authenticity, it won't 
take anything less, won't accept anything less. Also because she knows what she's worthy of, so she's not going to accept anything less from you, no matter how, no matter how, the, and I, y'all, I say this all the time, and I stand firm in it. You, I don't care who anybody is to you, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, your, your grandma, your grandpa, your cousins, whatnot, whatever, your boss, your uh, instructor, your professor, your idol, your mentor, your yogi, your whatnot, whatever. You do not take, you do not accept it. You, you do not accept anything less than what you know you're worthy of. Than what you know you deserve you need to stand in a place of integrity and not allowing yourself to accept anything less than that especially even at, like anyone especially your twin flame you don't you know especially your twin flame right so someone here is in the process of tangoing with their own inner feminine energy and is kind of ejecting all of the things like the indoctrina indoctrination or the belief systems or whatnot, whatever, that keep you from connecting with this true form of your inner divine feminine energy, which also could be keeping you from connecting with your divine feminine in the external. So there is an energy of needing to go on some sort of pilgrimage i guess you will go within go dive diving within going on a going on a, a quest i keep i keep wanting to say a vision quest to find out who you truly are to understand yourself better to go with the flow to get deeper into yourself and you even have a full moon here on this card do you see that it's really interesting It's very interesting. Now, I do want to say, I do want to say, if this is an energy of like, if we're talking divine counterparts here, and this is the masculine that's really working on connecting with their inner feminine, inner feminine energies, I feel like you're very close. I really do feel like you are very, very close to this. Like, this is something that, you know, is come is like, is it might be staring you right in the face at the moment. Okay, that's a really good thing. Now, the other thing I'm picking up on here is there could be a marriage that someone has with a certain queen of wands type energy. Maybe they're a fire sign or maybe they're just, they just give off these energies of the queen of wands. Um, I feel like this would be a really negative uh, version of the queen of wands, very self-centered, very manipulative, narcissistic, um, selfish, uh, full of themselves egotistical this is either a woman or maybe just a, a, a feminine energy someone that resonates more with feminine energy there could be a marriage involved with this individual that now you're looking to move away from i'm not i'm not necessarily seeing official divorce right now but what i am seeing is some sort of moving away or movement towards well, movement towards finding greater inner light uh, understanding of the self, which ultimately would most likely um, result in a certain divorce, like in a divorce. Like I just feel like someone is kind of like separating from this, even if it's just energetically at the moment. Now, this could be a divorce if you're married, or it could just be the severing of a relationship, maybe a long, a long standing relationship, something like that. I keep getting pilgrimage from this. Okay. All right. So um, let's get into some clarification here. And I kind of want to start with this here. We The Queen of Wands in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse with the Hermit upright. Okay. Mm. I woke up with um, Stevie Wonder's I Love You in my head and... I don't listen to Stevie Wonder, <laughs> so I don't know why I feel compelled to point that out, but it just started playing. I just started hearing it again. And it's like, it, it's crazy. I wake up, I wake up with these mu this, these songs in my head. Sometimes there are, they're from artists that I, that I listen to. Okay. 
but oftentimes like lately it's been a situation where like these songs will come to me and it's from artists that i don't i, I don't listen to um like the beatles was one of them when i posted that thing that message to like my twin flame on my instagram page a few days later i got this mess i got a message in the turn in the song of she loves you by the beatles i don't listen to the beatles i do not like the beatles like y'all can y'all can crucify me for that if you want i don't care i mean i'm not saying they're a bad band it's just that's just not my style and I, I like I don't listen to them, and it's funny because it, it is, it's the song "She Loves You," and I heard I know kind of the verse or not the verse the the hook, so I was like, oh yeah, that's kind of relevant. Okay, cool. But then I was then I was like, wait, let me look up the lyrics. I looked up the lyrics, and it was like spot on to a T, like exactly what I was going through or exactly what I was feeling at that moment. It's insane, you guys. So if I, okay, so I'm sharing that to say if you if that happens to you, pay attention to it. Okay, it's not some fluke. It's it's spirit your higher self maybe even your twin sending you messages okay okay so queen of wands in reverse hierophant in reverse the hermit the strongest thing that i'm getting from this you guys is there is a blockage between somebody and this queen of wands and that blockage is the hierophant energies and you're needing to go on a little bit of a pilgrimage a vision quest you're needing to Yes, Spirit is saying you're needing to find the integrity within to be able to approach this Queen of Wands. Again, that does not make you less than. That does not make this Queen of Wands better than you. However, there is a certain standard that she adheres to that you cannot get in. You can't even get into her vicinity. She will not allow you or anyone else into her vicinity unless you can meet the standard. And that standard comes from an unconditional love. Unconditional love for herself or himself, whatever, or, and unconditional love for you. Because once you get into this place, then you're that much better off. She's not doing it to be a bitch. She's not doing it to be a hard ass. She's not doing it because she's snooty, she's snotty, she's bougie. No, she's doing it because she recognizes her worth and she wants you to recognize your worth too. Quite frankly, she wants everyone to recognize her worth, their worth. She's quite tired of people accepting anything less than what they know they re they are worthy of and what they deserve and running around bitching about it. It's like, no, fuck you. Stop complaining and start living up to the standard that you seek for yourself. Otherwise, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> like, get out of here. Get out of here with that shit, man. <laughs> you're bringing it on yourself. If you want to change something about your life, if you want to change what you're experiencing in your life, then change your mood, change your vibration, change how you carry yourself. I mean, it's simple. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right. That does feel very Queen of Swordsy, but it's very also very fiery, very passionate. Yes, and that's the Queen of Wands for you. All right, I'm going to give this three shuffles. And let's look a little deeper into this energy for you. One last shuffle. Okay. All right, here we go. Overall energy is the four of pentacles. Yikes. Look, you're going to have to let go of something, buddy. I'm hearing you're, you're in the process of doing that. Okay. <laughs> but what I'm seeing is like someone prying your fingers off of something. It's like, it's kind of the, it's kind of the energy of, if you want this, you're going to have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. <laughs> Okay, but you're only making this more difficult for yourself, but you know what? That's fine. Three of Swords, the Hierophant, the Six of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, because of external influences, because of society, because of indoctrination, because of the patriarchal bullshit, because of... Um, 
social norms, maybe even religious factors, what not, whatever. There was, there's a lack of balance. There's a lack of harmony. There's a lack of integrity. There's a lack of balance between give and take. And that has caused heartbreak here. And so now you've got to do the work to fix it. But this is, this is the, the, the work that needs to be done, I'm feeling right now, is internal first. I, I want to get more on this. Now, the Four of Pentacles here is definitely a situation where someone is letting go of something that has been quite long-standing. And so that's kind of why I'm getting the image of like, you're going to have to pull it from my cold, dead fingers because it's like, it's almost as if you've been sitting in this position for so long, holding this so tightly for so long that it's kind of like muscle memory. It's like you literally have to retrain your mind, your muscles, your body, your, your whatever to let go. It's almost as if you don't know how to let go or you don't know how to, ex to, to live or to be without whatever it is you've been holding on to for so long. This is going to take some work. I want to get a little bit more here. Oh my God. Whoa. The King of Wands is at the over is the overall energy here. Okay. Look, oh my God, you guys. With the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands. Holy shit. Y'all. You're about to be so whomever this is. So we really could be talking about divine counterparts, that Virgo. We could be talking about anything. Because check it out, the king in, in the minor arcana. For me as a reader, and for many of us, I guess, who still refer to it this way, I've always seen it this I mean, I learned this in the very beginning, and I've seen it this way ever since. But in the Minor Arcana, you have a depiction of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, that being the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. In the Major Arcana, you have the depiction in the Emperor and the Empress, okay? And so here we have it, the King and the Queen of Wands with the Six of Wands. So, whomever it is that does this work, Okay, to bring balance, harmony, and reciprocity to your life, to your relationships. Keep in mind, you guys, this is not just between you and your counterpart, if that resonates with you. This is intended to be a situation where you bring harmony and balance and reciprocity, maybe even integrity, to all of your life. To all of your life or at least as much of it as you possibly can at any given moment, right? Okay, but should you do that, this is your reward. Either the balance and the integration of, the, of your own inner feminine energy and or a reconnection or the balance and harmony and a relationship between your external feminine counterpart. Come on, focus. Why won't you focus? I want you to focus right the hell now. There we go. Okay. I'm so glad I got that second pull. Because that's beautiful. Now I have the Beatles song, She Loves You, stuck in, like running through my head. <laughs> oh, and you know what's so funny about that? About when that happened? That hap when that happened... A friend, a very dear friend of mine who kind of know, who's kind of a little bit connected to the, the people and the, and the environment that I met my twin at, she, she kind of knows what's going on or what had go, what, what, what was going on between us at the time. I don't think she knows. The, I mean, I guess she, I guess you've been following me, but so you probably kind of get it at this point, but she liked that post and it was right after i noticed that she liked that post that i that of that message to my twin flame um it was right after i noticed that she liked it that that beatles song came to my head and i looked up the lyrics and i was like spirit i can't with you like <laughs> um and if you guys don't if you haven't seen that yet and if you're not um connected with me on instagram 
go ahead and do so at divine underscore conversations. It's, it's a hard post to miss because the image is of a, a white and a black candle. I'll just leave it there. You'll find it. Um, but I've recently got to the point where it's like, I don't care. I'm not trying to hide. I'm really not trying. Like, I'm not going to reveal his identity without his express permission. But like, I'm not trying to really hide anymore on this. And, and, and it's funny because I, I wasn't really, because I couldn't really. I started this channel and I started with doing Twin Flame readings. But... Uh, but then uh, things got really destructive and I tried to hide from it. I tried to run from it. I tried to escape from it. I put this mask on. But then right around Christmas, it, I, I posted that on Christmas Eve. And the lunar, the, the solar eclipse was on the 25th. So it makes perfect sense that that all happened. But, uh, you know, I'm in a place right now where it's like, look, I love him to the ends of the earth but I will not compromise my integrity for anybody. So if it means that being with him would mean I would need to lower my standards, that is not gonna work. That is absolutely not gonna work. I, and, and don't get me wrong, it's not just you. I will not be lowering my standards for anybody. I will not be settling for anyone or anything. And that also includes a career. I had a dream today, um, this morning, where I was working in some new restaurant. And don't get me wrong, I love working in the restaurant industry because I love being a server. Like I just, I just, I find it really fun and fulfilling. Like I like, I like to be of service in that way. Um, but I was working in a new restaurant and it was just hell. It was like, it was such an obstacle just to get going. And it's just like, I, I'm not prepared for this. By the end of the, by the end of the dream, I, well, by the time I woke up, I was like, wow, is that, is that a message that I probably need to start really getting out of the restaurant industry? Is there a better way for me to serve than doing it in this way? Is this, I mean, that's a question of integrity, isn't it? To a certain extent. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't even know where, where where the hell I was going with that. Anyway, okay, so let's get it. Let's clarify now. Let's talk about this Five of Wands, King of Swords, uh, the Tower, Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like this is a. a, a I feel like this is a, a complete like this is a this is a this is a turn kind of a departure from what we're we were talking about here but not exactly like not completely because I do think this has a, this has a lot to do with it this is maybe you being that masculine counterpart or you coming from a place of your own inner masculine energy making some sort of change okay the eight of pentacles is very much a common theme here there is work to be done but with that work comes great success six of wands nine of cups but something's erupting whether that's within you or in your external experience or both it absolutely could be both okay but let's get a little bit of clip um i'm gonna shuffle i'm gonna give this three shuffles Ooh, you know what no i'm going to use the golden universal tarot for this part okay all right three shuffles here yeah and i want to get spirits advice here i also want to um i want to clarify this a little bit for you but yeah i definitely want to get some advice going one okay four shuffles fine no you know what i'm gonna give it five shuffles so four and five Alrighty, kids let's see what we've got high priestess but i think she's in reverse <laughs> you know it's so funny because with the high priestess coming out and i believe she's in reverse um i was hearing you know exactly what it is you need to do and then the pa then the, the the ace of wands came out you do have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck 
um, as the overall energy right now. But this does. But what this is saying to me here is, come on, you. Why won't you? Fo why are you being such a poo face? My freaking camera, man. There we go. Thank you. Um, this is the lesson that you've learned here. The lesson of feeling lack or less than, of being left out in the cold. Um, and I'm getting specifically that for some of you, in some of the situations that you've been involved with, in terms of like this Hierophant energy that, just, that keeps coming out, um, it's it's as if they've, they've taken, they've stolen your power from you or they've made you feel as if you are nothing if you don't own up or live up to certain standards. You are nothing if you don't present yourself in a certain way. You are not acceptable. You are not good. You are not, um, uh, you're not going to be well. You're not going to be successful. You're not going to have do whatever, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. But that was just an element of control. That was them defining your worth for you so that they so that you could perform in the ways that they wanted you to or you could go after the things that they wanted you to that you you basically could live the life that they wanted you to live and now it's time to come out of that because oh okay the high priestess is here but she's not in reverse but still the high priestess is here saying you know exactly what the real truth is okay you've indoctrination is over good lord we have the king of wands again you guys Look at that, okay? <clears throat> Coupled with the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. Yes, there's some other cards there that I do want to talk about, but we'll talk about, that and talk about that in a second. You know exactly what it is you need to do. The High Priestess is coming to you and saying, it's time to go, buddy. Like, it's time to do this. Shoot your shot. Get off, either, either shit or get off the pot. But I don't really see anybody really getting off the pot at this point. Like, it's... It's time to it's time to do the do, boo. <laughs> we have the six of cups, the chariot, and the two of cups. Union. I'm hearing union. I'm hearing marriage. I'm hearing like um, a balance between the masculine and feminine within you, right? Can you please? I'm getting so annoyed with this bullshit, man. <laughs> um, this definitely could be a balance of har an harmonious union of masculine and feminine within. This could definitely you be you um, finding your sense of integrity uh, and moving toward moving towards a soulmate, moving towards a a relationship. I mean, I've I've been watching some readings. I did watch the Star Girl, the Practical Witch. I love her. If you guys don't know about her on YouTube, I definitely think you should go check her out. But she did some um, some predictions for some love predictions for January 2020 in this this lunar eclipse. And let me tell you, there is a lot. There's a lot of good shit coming through in relationships. Okay. So and that's what's coming out here. I mean, you do have the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. All right, you have the divine masculine and the divine feminine, the king of wands, the queen of wands, or just two people, two fire signs, or two people that are very passionate, spiritually activated, maybe, um, whatnot, whatever. <laughs> the six of swords is underneath that. Wow. Wow. That is a common theme also, the six of swords, because you have the emperor here with the six of swords. Okay, there is some sort of movement that the masculine... Whether this be the masculine energy within you is invo is influencing you to make some sort of change or go on some sort of pri pri pilgrimage or make some sort of movement um, or your divine masculine counterpart or maybe just a, a masculine individual that could be a counterpart to you if, if you don't necessarily resonate with the twin flame journey or divine counterparts or whatnot, whatever. There is some sort of movement. There is a shift. There is a change that is looking to happen over this period and this full moon in Cancer partial lunar eclipse is catalyzing it basically okay and what spirit is saying here especially with this five of pentacles there is a sense of coming out of the darkness coming out of an energy of feeling left out in the cold or le le less than and to be quite honest the strongest me strongest message in terms of coming out of being left out in the cold has to do with you accepting yourself for exactly who you are and standing in your integrity and saying, I am not going to allow you to treat me like this any longer. So either you're going to get with the program and you're going to see me for who I am and you're going to treat me like the adult and the human being that I am, or you won't see me at all. And I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm not trying to be a bitch. I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm more 
I'm more than you, you're less than me or whatnot, whatever. No, it's because I respect myself and I love myself and I'm not going to allow myself to accept anything less than I know that I'm worthy of. Period. That's it. That is it. And that is really something that I really want to, I personally feel very charged. Like I feel very much, this is part of my, my mission, my soul's mission here to help guide you guys or whomever is looking for it because I can channel spirit and help to influence you all to stand in this energy too. Respect yourself, love yourself, know who you are, hold on to your worth and do not allow anyone to, to, to give you anything less or do not allow yourself to accept anything less than you know you are worthy of. Sometimes you're going to have to, you know, have, you're going to have to be a little lenient here or there, but like, but we're talking about some like major things like, okay, like, look, all right, fine. You're getting a new job and you know, you want, uh, you want to be paid a certain amount or, you know, you're worth a certain amount, but you can't quite get that yet you're brand new at this job they're willing to give you some of it but to start out right now mm, let's start here and then moving forward if things go well then we'll talk about bumping raising your pay or something like that that's cool that's okay but if someone is, is straight up trying to devalue you from the get-go and they ain't trying to and, and they're not trying to budge on that honey you walk away like you walk away from that so fast you leave their head spinning that's that's what i'm talking about okay now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! All right, kids. Let's get your Oracle guidance to close out this reading for the weekend. And they were definitely, we are absolutely going with the light worker Oracle today. 100% y'all. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what is our Oracle Guidance for today's skis? Hold on a second. Let me, I want to put this here. Okay. All right. Oracle Message, please. Spirit, Oracle Guidance for this weekend, but also this full moon partial lunar eclipse in Cancer and the subsequent energies that we're going to be moving through moving forward shut the front door no shut the motherfucking front door <laughs> card number seven unplug from mass consciousness i know that shit is motherfucking right <laughs> wow i mean i mean y'all okay i really feel like i'm gonna read this whole thing so bear with me kids here we go there is a belief system based on fear, doubt, and distrust that is known as, quote, mass consciousness. It says it is safer to stay with the crowd, not to question what you have been taught. It says you cannot trust the divine to take care of your financial well-being or your emotional needs. It says you should be afraid and not take risks. It says that if you dare to stand up and live your truth, you'll be lost and alone, humiliated, rejected, or even destroyed. You are being guided to unplug from that system of beliefs. You are capable of a more creative, loving, and soul-satisfying way of living. To access this, let go of the way that that is too small for your soul. You are brave and aware enough to think outside the square beyond what society or your peers may consider quote normal you are supposed to be questioning things right now you are in a transition from one way of thinking to another opening up to a new world which can trust enough to live in i'm sorry you are in a transition from one way of thinking to another opening up to a new world which you can trust enough to live in with peace and happiness because of the upgraded new beliefs you are cultivating. No matter how others may resist or criticize your choices, perhaps your new ideas take you away from the world they feel comfortable in, your higher guida guidance encourages you to keep opening your mind to a more loving, higher reality. If you have been thinking along new lines and wonder if you are going crazy, 
Your guidance tells you you are doing a great job. You are not crazy. Trust yourself. You are thinking in ways that do not belong to mass consciousness. It can seem scary at first, but once you realize the benefits gained from unplugging, you will enjoy the process much more. It will free you and empower you to live a life of your own choosing. Opportunities and connections can open up to you in ways that defy your old beliefs. <laughs> Sometimes breaking from the accepted norm, doing things differently, or being considered weird to family, colleagues, and friends is a sign that you are breaking away from the consciousness of the masses, which is not compatible with your own higher frequency consciousness. You were born to bring a new vibration of awareness to this planet. You will find those who, who can benefit and even love you for this difference, and those who are challenged or feel fearful of you for it. I'm sorry, let me say that again. You will find those who can benefit and even love you for this distance, this difference and those who are challenged or fearful of you for it. Either way, you can love and approve of yourself, nourish relationships that support you, and have compassionate detachment for those that do not without compromising who you are in truth. So keep unplugging yourself, one layer, thought, word, and deed at a time from that which the mass con consciousness would have you buy into. More stuff, more fear, more competition, more doubt, and more suffering. You can change any thought you don't want to have. Free yourself. You have the power to change your world and the world we live in as a result, one liberating thought at a time. And I do want to share the invocation here for you. So if you want to read through this invocation to help you, come on, Eric, there it goes, to help you with um, uh, disconnecting from the, this like collective consciousness here, then you can pause it right there and you can go ahead and do that. But there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you guys have an absolutely fabulously fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.